Hello and welcome to Medical Dialogues. I'm Anshaka Mishra. Let's look at today's top medical news. Weight loss may improve decision making and mood in severely obese people according to a study. A recent clinical nutrition study examined how significant weight loss in highly obese individuals influences their metabolism, psychological state and decision making processes. Research shows that metabolic signals like blood glucose level have been essential for survival, influencing decision on territory and mating by indicating energy needs. Glucose helps the brain gauge if more resources are needed or also more affects decision making. Emotional eating aimed at improving mood often leads to high calorie food overconsumption and increased obesity risk. Obesity disrupts metabolism and raises blood glucose level. However, there is limited research on how restoring glucose function and mood might affect decision making. The study explored how metabolic and psychological factors affect risky decision making in obese individuals and examined the impact of weight loss on these decisions. Participants engaged in a computerized gambling task to assess risk propensity with the HbA1c level and mood measured using the PNAS questionnaire. It was hypothesized that risk taking would be positively correlated with BMI and that HbA1c would become a stronger predictor of risk propensity after weight loss. 62 obese participants completed a 10-day medically supervised weight loss program including nutrition counseling and psychotherapy. They made choices between risky options with uncertain rewards and safe options with guaranteed intermediate rewards. Blood sample, body fat and weight measurement were recorded at the start and end of the program. Are you also aspiring to excel in medical journalism and delve into the intricacies of health and medical reporting? Explore our comprehensive course on medical and health journalism available at the Medical Dialogues Academy. Learn from industry experts who possess the depth knowledge and experience in this field. For further details, scan the QR code provided or access the link in the description box below. Study links higher brain care score to reduce risk of late life depression. Late life depression, defined as depression onset in individuals over 60, affects up to a third of this age group and can be profoundly debilitating. Recent research highlighted that lifestyle choices may significantly influence the risk of developing this condition. A study conducted by researchers from Mars General Brigham in collaboration with Yale University has shown that a higher brain care score is associated with a reduced risk of late life depression. The findings were published in the journal Frontiers in Psychiatry. The brain care score was previously developed and validated by researchers at the Mask General Brigham to help patients and clinicians identify lifestyle changes that could reduce the risk of dementia and stroke. The new study extended the utility of the brain care score by linking it to a lower risk of late life depression. This research underscored the shared biological risk factor among stroke, dementia and depression and highlights the potential of the brain care score to guide lifestyle changes for better brain health. Developed by researchers at the McCance Centre and the collaborator, the brain care score is designed to help prevent brain diseases by focusing on modifiable risk factor. The score comprises four physical risk factors that is blood pressure, hemoglobin A1c, cholesterol and body mass index, five lifestyle elements that is nutrition, alcohol intake, smoking, physical activity and sleep and three social emotional elements that is stress, relationship and life purpose. A higher score on the 21 point scale indicates a lower risk of brain disease. Study finds dietary changes may enhance mitochondrial function and decrease inflammation and obesity. A randomized clinical trial involving obese individuals highlighted the significance of dietary intervention in improving mitochondrial function and the metabolic profile of monocytes, which are key aspects of controlling chronic inflammation and obesity. The study was published in the journal Clinical Nutrition. Various dietary interventions such as calorie restriction, intermittent fasting and ketogenic diet are popular for improving metabolic profile and promoting weight loss in obese individuals. Mitochondria, essential for cellular energy, adapt to environmental signals to manage energy use. In obesity, mitochondrial dysfunction and monocytes contribute to chronic inflammation, a key feature of obesity. Monocytes regulate fatty acid oxidation to reduce inflammation in low glucose conditions, suggesting dietary restriction may impact monocyte bioenergetics. In the randomized clinical trial, 44 obese individuals were randomly assigned to one of the four dietary interventions. Calorie restriction, intermittent fasting, a ketogenic diet and an ad libitum habitual diet for one month. They then received the antibiotic Rifaximin while contributing to assigned diets for another month to assess the gut microbiota's role in modulating the diet's effect on mitochondrial function in monocytes. Over four follow-up visits, research measured mitochondrial function in monocytes, serum, anthropometric and biochemical parameters and gut microbiota composition in fecal samples. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned to Medical Dialogues for more updates. Never miss a medical update from Medical Dialogues. Like, subscribe, and press the bell icon.